In the book Grit by Angela Duckworth, she tells a story of Bob Mankoff. Bob had a dream of becoming one of the best cartoonists in the world. His goal was to have his drawings featured in The New Yorker. But despite submitting tons of work, he kept receiving rejection letters. So he decided to look up all the cartoons that had ever been published. At first he thought his drawings might just be subpar. Well, that wasn't true because many of the cartoons published were just okay. He thought, well, maybe it's an issue with the length of his captions. Well, that wasn't true either because there were many examples of both short and long captions. But then he found one thing that all cartoons had in common that his were missing. They all made the reader think. So Bob made some adjustments and sent in one more cartoon and it was finally accepted. And soon after, he was asked to become a contract cartoonist. Like Bob, while you can't control the setbacks you face, you can control your response to it. And sometimes it's your setbacks that set the stage for your greatest comebacks.